In this video, I will redesign this landing page created by AI and at the end you will decide who did it better. The AI version is short and visually clean, but my goal is to turn it into a more intentional landing page that actually explains the product, builds trust and guides the user step by step. I will begin by centering the elements in the hero section. Since I am planning to use a lot of soft details throughout the page, I will choose a serif font. It adds a more conservative, trustworthy feel which helps balance the friendly design without making it feel too playful. I will remove the watch demo button and keep just one primary action. Then I will make that button round, elevate it slightly with a soft shadow and give it more visual importance. Next I will add a subtle background behind the hero elements. This adds depth and separation without stealing attention from the content. For the dashboard preview I grabbed a design from the Figma community and adjusted a few things to better fit the layout. It's not meant to be perfect, it's simply a visual mockup to help users understand what a product looks like. Placing the mockup flat like this feels a bit boring, so I will move two of the cards up, rotate them slightly and add soft shadows to create depth and movement. This already makes the hero feel more dynamic compared to the AI version. Now let's move on to the feature section. Here I will place the text on the left and distribute the content in a more user-friendly way using a bento grid layout. I will add short description inside each card along with some of the best product screenshots I could find, screenshots that actually support the message instead of just filling space. At this point the page starts to feel more structured and easier to scan than the AI version. Moving on to the how it works section. Here I will center the text to guide the user's attention in a zigzag pattern as they scroll. This helps keep the experience dynamic and makes the content easier to follow. I will reuse a background similar to the hero section, just less tall and with a different color. And add two product screenshots, they don't perfectly match the text but they still help communicate the idea which is enough for this redesign. Instead of using a progress bar, I will switch to three cars with vertical dividers and numbered steps at the bottom to clearly highlight the process. To make the next section stand out, I will switch to a dark background. I will move the text back to the left, place the screenshots in the center and surround them with four supporting cards. Each card gets its own icon to improve scannability and visual hierarchy. This creates contrast and gives the page a clear visual read. For the testimonials section, I will bring back the light theme and center the text. Instead of static testimonial cards, I will use a carousel with more than three testimonials. This gives users the option to explore more social proof without overwhelming the layout. In the pricing section, I will place the headline on the left and the subheadline on the right to break the scrolling read. I will add three pricing cards, highlight the middle one as the most popular option and then move straight into the call to action. The goal here is clarity, no distractions, just a clear choice. Here I will switch back to the dark theme, center the text and add two clear buttons. I will use a background similar to the hero section and place two product screenshots inside to reinforce what the user is signing up for. This brings the page full circle and keeps the focus on conversion. Finally, I will redesign the navbar and the footer. For the navbar, I will keep the same structure but adjust the visual style so it fits better with the rest of the page. For the footer, I will reduce the amount of content this is a landing page and we don't need an oversized footer competing with the main goal. And this is the before and after. The shorter landing page was generated by AI, the longer one was designed by me with the goal of explaining the product better, building trust and guiding the user step by step. Now I'm curious what you think, who did it better, me or the AI?